several hundred secret ballots, and a weekend retreat with Menahel Rabbi Ari Gruen at his secret mountain bunker. <laughs> Banquet speaker was chosen, and it was me. Of course, speaking today was an easy decision. It's hard to write a speech after a year like this. And by that, I mean this is literally the first thing I've written the entire year. <laughs> <laughs> But in that lies the beauty of Ashrena. Rabbi true. Yudin and company are always challenging us to be greater and reaching for that next stone. <coughs> and just like the brave resistance fighters of occupied France in World War II, <laughs> we locked ourselves in our rooms and weathered the storm. <laughs> he's, he's from France. Only going out at night to Ben Yehuda and Tel Aviv to stealthily sabotage their plans behind enemy lines. <laughs> <laughs> Having a shader come to an end is a bit surreal. <laughs> In our time here, we have formed special bonds, not only with each other, but with the wonderful seminary seminaries, <laughs> year programs, birthright girls, and even a few of the natives. <laughs> In that vein, I can, I can truly say I'm connected to the land of Israel. <laughs> Being an Australia student is not easy. For instance, last week I was forced to complete a survey asking me my opinion about electives. To be perfectly honest, I didn't even know we had electives. Just as well, most weekends we were thrown out into the wild and forced to hone our survival skills in unfamiliar territory. I know of no other yeshiva so demanding. <laughs> we lost a few good men along the way, but blank, we made it. <laughs> but seriously, I had an amazing time here. I could not have imagined this year going any better. And while other yeshivas may spend all their time trying to figure out the world and life, we not only do that, but we actually go out to the world and we enjoy life. I'd like to thank Rabbi Yudin and Rabbi Gruden so much for this year. I'd also like to thank Dr. Rubenstein from the bottom of my heart, despite his assertions that my heart does not exist. <laughs> I'd also like to thank the Midnight Rabbi for making me feel important, because no matter when I look at my phone, there's always a little friendly red bubble with the one in it next to my Facebook. <laughs> it always makes me feel so important. <laughs> Looking out into this crowd, I am surprised to see that Coco and his staff have not made it. <laughs> though, he asked me to, though he asked me to convey his wishes, that we have successful lives full of joy and only the best humors. <laughs> to end this speech, I'd like to quote the benevolent young thug, aka young thug main, young thug of Maine LaFleur. My diamonds, they say Pikachu, they say Pikachu. When I walk to the club, they gonna look at you. <laughs> I bless you all to shine like Pikachu-esque diamonds. <laughs> Congratulations on completing the easiest year of your lives. <laughs>